hello guys and welcome back to our new and most exciting video today we are gonna do something new and very trendy as of 2023 3d models are pretty popular in this video we will try and create a store in shopify while applying the 3d effects at your shopify store and also see how 3d objects work as a product in shopify Watch me carefully until the end of this video while trying to apply the same setups as me and let's do together the magic. Before starting, hit the like button below, share this video with your friends that might be interested in this video and also for more helpful and interesting videos about websites and more, smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't lose anything. Now guys, before jumping directly into the topic, I want to mention one thing, creating a 3D Shopify store without a plan, it's impossible. So for this video, if you are building your web store, you need to buy a plan of Shopify. It doesn't matter which plan, it just need to be a premium plan to allow us to upload 3D objects to the Shopify store. Okay, first let's see some things at our online store. Go at the left panel and click online store. And at the themes, you can see your current theme. My current theme is down, but you can scroll down and see other popular free themes. You can also visit the theme store of Shopify or choose any of these five themes. In this tutorial, I just want to go as simple as much. So I will use the down theme the theme that comes with Shopify when you create your store. So let's view our store and see what would we change. Click this button here, view your store. And now this is my store. It's completely blank and I don't have any product. These are just example products. You can see the pages too, the catalog, the contact, shopping cart, and search box. What I would like to do is in my home page I would like to have a video here regarding of my store. In my opinion that would look like more interesting than an image. So let's go and add a video as a background section of home page. To do so go to themes and click customize. Now, as you see, we have an image banner. If you click on it, you can see that you can upload images, but the videos are not allowed in this section. If you go here at add section and click show more and scroll down, you can only see the video. If you click on it, you can only upload the video of Shopify hosted video or embed video from URL. But we are not interested in this type of video. We want a complete section where it has a video as a background and we can put some text, buttons and titles here. To do so, exit the customization of theme and here at the down theme, click these three dots. Click edit code and here is the complete code of your theme. Here is the layout, the templates, here are the sections, the snippets, configs, assets and locals. What we need to do is to create a new section that we will use as a video section. To do so, scroll down and find the section folder. And here are all the sections that Shopify theme offers. You can see the videos, the slideshows and other things. So we need to create a new section to display the section with the video background. These sections are created with code. But guys, don't worry. I will provide the link of the GitHub where you could copy the code and paste it in your new section. So click here, add new section and choose liquid. At the file name, name your section whatever you want. In this case, I want to name it video background. Click done. 
And as you can see, a new section is created in a liquid file. You can find the file here too as video background.liquid. Now this is the code of section. We don't need this, so we could just simply clear. Now go to this link at GitHub, and you can see here video background.liquid. This is a code that Mr. Daxters has created, and we can just copy and paste in our Shopify store, and we will have the video background section. So go and copy this code. Go back to store and here at the code editor, paste it. Now the section is completed. Just click save. And now we have successfully added a new section with code that is called video background. Now we don't have anything to do here. So we can exit the code editor and go back to our theme customization. Now we are here at the home page and to add the video background section, just go here at the left panel and click add section. Click this button here show more to see more section and scroll down. Now you can see that we have a new section that is called video background. To add it, just click on it. And now video background is added successfully. I want to position this section as the first section in my home page. So to do so, just hover over it and add these six dots, drag and drop as the first section. Now you can see that the video background is the first section in my home page. Now this section has one block that is called video slide. Click on it and here you can see some settings about this video slide. Here you can paste the link of the video that you want to set as the background video. Here is a cover image if you want to use any of them. The overlay opacity, this is the heading and description that will be shown in the section. Here are the colors of text, of background button and the button text. And here you can set the button label and link that button somewhere. Now as you saw, we need to paste the link or search for video link. If we want to upload the video from our local computer, we need to exit the theme customization and go to Shopify dashboard. Exit the theme customization and now at the Shopify dashboard in the left panel, find content and click files. Now here we can upload and manage the files of Shopify. The files can be images, videos, documents, and more. To upload our video, just click this button here, upload file, and find your file that you want to upload. And now my file is uploaded. So what I will have to do now is go here at this button to copy the link. Just click on it and you can see that the link is copied. Go back to our online store and at our theme, click customize. And at the video background section, click video slide and paste the link of the video here. Now you can see that we have successfully pasted the video as the background. Now, as you can see, I have a video with car. So my web store is about cars. I want to change the heading here from video slide to find the best cars for your kids. And at the description, I don't want to change it. So I will leave as it is. The color is fine for me. I also want to add a button here that redirect me to the products. So I will, so the label of button will be visit the shop and as the button link I will click here and find products and click all products I want to change the button text color to black 
and this looks good in my opinion. To save these changes, don't forget to click the button save. And now let's visit our home page. Click these three dots here and click view. Now you can see that the video is now online in our store. If you click this button here, visit the shop, it will redirect us to the shop, but we don't have products yet. So now let's go and add 3D products. To do so, go at our store and exit theme customization. Now we need to go to products. And as you see, we don't have any product, but we will add the first one immediately. So click this button here. And now this is the panel where we add products. Now at the product, you can see here at media that it says media accepts images, videos or 3D models. A 3D model is a type of media where we can see the product in a three dimensional way. You can drag the image and see from all the perspectives how that products look like. Now just for the sake of tutorial, I've found some 3D models. So let me add a title and description to my product. Now I added my product, but I didn't add media yet. So I click to add files. And as you can see, I have this file here, Nissan Prince Skyline 1500.usdz. USDZ type of files are files in 3D models. So this is the type of file that Shopify allows you to upload. So I click on it and click open. Now my file is uploading to Shopify. The file is uploaded successfully and Shopify needs some time to process it because it's a heavy object for Shopify. Now you can see that the media is added successfully. You can see an icon here and this explains that this media is a 3D model. Now to see how it looks like in a product page, go here at preview and you can see here the product in a 3D model. Click on this icon here at the middle of the media and now you can drag and drop and see in a 3D model how this car looks like. You can see from the all sides and also you can zoom in and zoom out. You can open the full screen mode and see how the 3D models looks like. To exit the full screen, just click here at this exit full screen icon. And this is how the products look like in a 3D model. And all right, guys, this was what we got for 3D Shopify stores. I hope you found it very helpful and at the same time entertaining. This was just a brief of how your website could look like in a 3D model website. But don't forget, there are many blogs and communities that may help you with the ideas to make a completely 3D store so do research because it's worth the time. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Until the next time we meet, I wish you success and all the best. See ya.